Here we can see a picture that was taken in Picardy, France. And here we can see there's a statue. And if you look very closely at the statue, you can see there's no detail in it. Whereas the sky, it's quite reasonable. You can see there's some dark clouds here and here. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring the detail out in the actual statue. The first thing to do is to select the layer, come here and get yourself a duplicate layer by clicking on this. Once you've got the duplicate layer, select it, because this will safeguard the original layer, in other words, your original image. Come across here to where it says Colors, select that. Move down to where it says Levels, and you'll be presented with this dialog box. Grab hold of this slider here and move it in this direction, and you can see that you've brought out the details of the statue. Now, if you look carefully, however, you can see the sky behind is now pretty washed out. And we can show the contrast by simply coming over here, clicking on this eye to remove the layer I've just worked on, revealing the original layer. Now, straight away, you can see there's no detail in the statue there. But just keep your eye on this area here where we have the dark clouds. Now, I've switched on the layer that we've just altered so we can view it and you can see those clouds are now well they're not very distinctive are they let's bring them back by looking at the original and we can see we have this reasonable looking sky now what I want to do is to do this again but this time I want to just alter the statue I want to alter the levels on the statue not the sky I've deleted the layer I was just working on and I've introduced a new copy of the original image which is here. I've just selected it. And now I'm going to right click on the mouse to bring up this context menu and I'm going to come down here to where it says add alpha channel and I'm going to select that. Now what this has done it's give the layer that I currently have selected the ability to have regions of it rubbed out and giving that region a transparent view so it'll show what's behind and to emphasize the point I'll come here and I'll switch this original layer off so we can't see it and I'm going to come to this one here and I'm going to go to the rubber and I'm simply going to rub out a region of the screen and what you can see there is I'm seeing straight through the image and that cross hatch background there is telling me that well I'm looking through because behind I've now got the cross hatch indicating that the layer I've just rubbed out is now transparent and if I come back over here and click on this eye it brings the layer behind back into view so I'm seeing through to that layer and now of course the image looks like the original image but if I switch that off and now do control Z um, you can see I get rid of the rubbing out that I've just done now I'm going to select this layer here and I'm going to come across to here to the fuzzy selection tool and then I'm going to come inside the actual area of the image where the statue is and I'm going to click on it and you can see it selects the majority of the statue now if you look here at this particular cursor and I'm going to tell you now that I'm clicking the shift key on the keyboard you see this little plus sign has appeared now that means that I can add to the selection so what I'm going to do I'm going to move to here and I'm going to select this region and lo and behold it would appear now to have selected all of the statue now I've now got the full selection of the statue but what I'm going to do I'm going to come up here to where it says select and I'm going to say invert and what in fact has happened it has selected everything except the statue now I'm going to press delete on the keyboard and straight away you can see the cross hatching appears now that's because I've deleted everything except the statue which I selected using the fuzzy tool but of course I then inverted the selection and then I'm going to come here to where it says select and I'm going to say select none so you can see all of the marching ants have disappeared I'm going to come across to here to make sure I've selected the layer that is the effectively the cutout of the statue and I'm then going to come where we went before to colors and I'm going to go to levels and on this occasion I'm not going to move the slider 
I'm going to come down here to where it says auto click on that and then simply click on to OK and you can see that we've brought out the details of the statue using GIMP's automatic adjusting of the levels. I'm now going to move over to here and I'm going to switch the layer on by clicking in the eye and now you can see that we have the statue with all of its details and the sky well that hasn't been altered so you can see it's possible to isolate things on the screen and actually bring out the details I'm going to quickly come over here to the magnifying glass and if you look in this region you can see there's quite a lot of noise around here that we could work on however we'll worry about noise in a later video for this particular video we've looked at the fuzzy selection tool as well as a brief look at levels now here is the image after it's been altered and here is the original image for you to make comparisons original altered check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and get an automatic update every time I upload a new video also consider subscribing to the Google Plus circle that relates to these videos